Good morning, Shalom from Jerusalem. It is a Friday morning and I'm talking to you early in the morning, just uh, moments after sunrise. And I am standing in my sukkah. We've completed building the sukkah. You can see, here it is, uh, ready to celebrate the holiday of Sukkot which we will be celebrating in just a few days. Uh, on the holiday of Sukkot, we leave our houses, as God told us, and we move to the Sukkah. We live in the Sukkah because God put us in the Sukkah when He took us out of Egypt. So let me just give a few words about this very, very Sukkah is here built of uh, Amitzim. Amitzim, the uh, Israel Organization for Young Widows and Orphans, here in Jerusalem, this over here is the courtyard, the playground, the place where they do arts and crafts. The young widows and orphans, they come here. And in here, we have the sukkah. Because God tells us, Deuteronomy 16, the joy and the celebration of Sukkot, we do it with the widows and the orphans. We don't forget them. And now we'll enter the sukkah and we'll see a little concept of what sukkah is all about. When we were in the desert, 40 years, God gave us the very basic needs and He protected us physically, water, food, protection, shadow against the strong light of the sun, of the heat of the desert. But He also covered us with the wonderful clouds of glory. The clouds of glory were the inspiration of God upon the people. The closeness of God. The people felt embraced by Hashem at all times. That is the concept of the sukkah. So here, as we enter my sukkah, we have right in front of us the verse from Psalm 16. I have put Hashem in front of me at all times. I also have here in my sukkah the sunrise in the temple, the beginning of the worship of God in the temple. You see they're all the people, you can see the proportion of the size of the people and the size of the temple. And you see the sun rising and shining on the entrance of the temple. And you see here the work, worship on the altar with the smoke going straight up to Hashem and connecting the people to Hashem, the cloud of glory connecting to Hashem. But aside from the faith in Hashem that has protected us throughout the desert, we also have the joy. And this year in my sukkah we put the two fruits of the seven fruits that Israel was blessed by. We have here the pomegranates. As you can see here, the pomegranate. And the pomegranate is like a very royal fruit with a crown on top. And it expresses the kingdom of Hashem, the royalty of Hashem, and the fact that we're in His hands. And the joy, the grapes, the grapes that represent the joy, the happiness, the celebration. So not only do we know that Hashem is protecting us and that Hashem is with us at all times and inspiring us with His gloryful, gloryful uh, cloud, but also we are celebrating the joy and we are including with us in the joy the widow and the orphan and all those who are in need for empowerment because somebody who lost a parent is somebody who's lacking the connection to God. Our parent is our connection to God. So uh, we will be here in the Sukkah and live in the Sukkah for seven days and uh, we'll do a lot of joy, a lot of singing, a lot of dancing, a lot of expressing our faith in Hashem. Now this year, 2022, Hadas, my wife and myself, we will be traveling to Wisconsin, to Eau Claire, Eau Claire, Wisconsin, the Harvest Time Church. We will be teaching about Sukkot and we will also be talking about the uh, Israel Organization for Young Widows and Orphans and we will be uh, raising friends and funds for the uh, organization so that uh, those of you who want to support our activity in putting Jerusalem in the center of the world, you can go into shalomjerusalem.org, shalomjerusalem.org, shalomjerusalem.org. Those of you who want to support our activity for young widows and orphans, you can go into amitsim, A-M-I-T-S-I-M dot com. A-M-I, 
amitsim.com, 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 and you can support bringing the light of Hashem to families that have lost a parent. And we will bring them into our sukkah and celebrate with them and bring joy to their hearts and to their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, Shalom from Jerusalem, from my sukkah, here in the courtyard of Amitzim, Jerusalem. Shalom from Jerusalem. Blessings to you all.